everyone this is dr ayushi and today i am going to show you how to identify different dental extraction forceps many find it very confusing as they more or less look similar especially the upper forceps so let us learn about it firstly there are two sets of dental extraction forceps the upper forceps and the lower forceps the basic difference between the upper forceps and the lower forceps is that the upper ones are always straight and the lower ones always have the peaks at right angles at 90 degree angle can you appreciate the difference this is straight and this is 90 degree okay all right now any forcep whether upper or lower one will have three parts okay the beaks the hinge or the joint and the handle most of them will be differentiated according to how the beaks are all right so now let us start learning how to identify them first we'll learn about the upper forceps this one right here in my hand is the upper anterior forcep okay the major difference is that the handle is straight rest all the upper extraction forceps will have angulated angle see this is curved and this this one is straight okay now the anterior forcep apart from having a straight or flat handle will have two rounded beaks both the beaks are rounded can you see okay so this is used for all the upper anterior teeth lateral incisor central incisor as well as the canines the next is the upper premolar forcep the handle is curved it is not flat okay and the beaks both the beaks are rounded okay so basically the difference between the upper anterior and the upper premolar is mainly of the handle which is curved in the premolar and which is flat with the upper anterior forcep next this one is upper molar forcep okay here also if you can see the handle is curved it is not straight okay this is a curved handle now the beaks if you can see there are two beaks okay this one is rounded and this one is pointed it has a point now this one is also upper molar forcep the same thing it has two beaks one is rounded and one is pointed okay one of them is right and one of them is of the left side how to identify which one is of which side as i said both of them will have one rounded end and one pointed end the pointed end will go and engage in the buccal bifurcation that is the uh, forcation area of the buccal roots so basically the pointed end will come on the buccal side so if you see this one right here okay this has a pointed end on the uh, left side so when you hold it like this okay this should come buccally so this becomes your forcep of the right side same way if you see this one okay this is a rounded end this is a pointed end okay now this pointed end will go to the buccal side so if you hold it like this it comes on the buccal side of the left side of your oral arch so this is your left side upper molar forcep and this is your right side upper molar forcep similarly we have a set of upper cow horn forceps as well okay there are two of them one is of the right side and one is of the left side 
how to identify which one is of which side. The cow horn, upper cow horn forcep will have two ends. Okay, one is a single conical point, if you can see this, and the other one is a bifid beak. Okay, there are two horns of this one. Okay, same with this one. Can you see this long pointed beak and this here a bifid one? Okay, now the bifid beak is going to go and hold the palatal root of your upper molar and the single conical pointed beak is going to go and engage in the furcation area of your buccal roots. So if you hold it like this, okay, the pointed one should come buccally and the bifid beak should come on the palatal side. So this first step, if you hold it like this, it becomes of your left side. So this is your left upper cahorn forcep. And this one, similarly, if you see, uh, this is the pointed beak which will come on the buccal side and this one, the bifid one will come on the palatal side to hold the palatal root. So if you hold it like this, this becomes of the right side. This is how you identify them. Okay. So we have learned about upper anterior, upper premolar, a set of upper molar forceps which has one pointed end and a set of upper cavern forceps which has one pointed and one bifid end. Now let us move on to upper root forcep. Okay, Upper root forcep will have a long beak. If you compare with any of the forceps, the earlier ones that we learned, okay, the beak has a long point. The beaks are long, longer than the other ones. That is the main differentiating feature because it has two angles. The beak is having two angles. Okay. Also, the beaks meet at the end. There is no gap in between the two of them. And these are used for removing the upper roots. This can be used for removing the root of any upper tooth whether it is an incisor, canine, a premolar or a molar doesn't matter because this gives a wonderful grip to the root, any of it. This is also known as bayonet forcep. Okay, so this is your root forcep. The last upper forcep is the upper third molar forcep. As in the upper root forcep it has a very long beak okay longer than the rest of them can you see this is having a short beak and this is having a pretty long one but the difference between the root forcep and this third molar forcep is that there is a gap in between two beaks at the end also the beaks over here are pretty rounded they are not pointed okay this is used for getting a very nice grip on your upper third molars because they are really, you know, uh, inaccessible with many of them. So many of the others. So you can see the difference between the upper root and the upper third molar. Okay. So upper third molar, you hold it like that. And this has no side, whether it is right or whether it is left, you just hold it like that and you use this forcep for that. So we have learned about the upper forceps each and every one of them how to identify mainly on the basis of the beak and the upper anterior forcep on the basis of the handle which is flat unlike all of them unlike the others of them okay so now we'll move on to the lower dental extraction forceps unlike the upper ones there are no sets of right and left extraction forceps in the lower ones so it makes you know the lower uh, identification pretty simple pretty easy and pretty fast so because there are only four of them to be identified let's start with the upper lower anterior the lower anterior the beaks are closed there is no gap in between the beaks okay so this makes it your lower anterior forceps 
This is also known as lower root forceps because it's the same forceps which is used for the lower anterior teeth extraction as well as for the lower root extraction. You can use it for both of them. There, are, there is no different forceps for the lower root. Just make sure that the beaks are closing and this is how you identify your lower anterior forceps. Let's move on to lower premolar forcep. Lower premolar is similar to lower anterior. Only the difference is that the beaks are not meeting at the end. There is always a gap. Okay. There is always a gap in between the two of them if you can see it. And uh, this is your lower premolar forcep. This is your lower molar forcep. Again, there is no uh, meeting of the beaks at the end, but the difference between the lower premolar and the lower molar forcep is that in the premolar, the beaks are rounded, both of them. There is no point, okay? Whereas in the lower molar forcep, both the beaks are pointed. Okay, the, this one is also pointed and this one is also pointed. So. This makes it your lower molar force. And the last one, this is your lower cow horn forcep. This is used for removal of grossly cages teeth with their furcation intact. This is mainly obviously used for the lower molars, okay, with furcation intact, very important. So you can see the shape of the beak is very important here it's like a horn of a cow the shape of it okay it's a cow horn for sir but it actually looks uh, the shape looks like a horn of the cow so this is your lower cow horn for sir all right so we have learned about the identification of both the upper and lower dental extraction forceps and i hope this video was helpful for you Thank you.